King of the Rocket Men is a 1949 12-chapter black and white Republic movie serial, produced by Franklin Adrian, directed Fred C. Brannan, that stars Tristram Coffin, May Clark, Don Haggerty, House Peters Jr., James Craven, and I. Stanford Jolly. This serial is notable for featuring the only character actually called Rocket Man. A misnomer applied by fans to the other rocket-powered suited heroes that followed in Republic's later serials, Radar Men from the Moon 1952, Zombies of the Stratosphere 1952, and Commando Cody, Sky Marshal of the Universe 1953. Topic. Plot. An evil genius of unknown identity, calling himself Dr. Vulcan, heard only as a voice and seen as a mysterious shadow on a brightly lit wall, plots to conquer the world. He needs to first eliminate, one by one, the members of the Science Associates, an organization of America's greatest scientists. After narrowly escaping an attempt on his life by Vulcan, one member of Science Associates, Dr. Millard James Craven, goes into hiding. He soon outfits another member, Jeff King Tristram Coffin, with an advanced, atomic-powered rocket backpack, attached to leather jacket with a bullet-shaped, aerodynamic flight helmet, and a Reagan that they had been developing together. Using the flying jacket and helmet and other inventions provided by Dr. Millard, and aided by magazine reporter and photographer Glenda Thomas May Clark, Jeff King, as Rocket Man, battles Vulcan and his henchmen through a dozen action-packed Republic serial chapters. Eventually, Vulcan steals Millard's most dangerous invention, a sonic decimator, and uses it to flood, then destroy both New York City and the rest of Manhattan Island. The mysterious Dr. Vulcan is eventually unmasked and brought to justice by Jeff King while in his Rocket Man persona. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chapter Titles. Topic Cast Tristram Coffin as Jeff King aka Rocket Man May Clark as Glenda Thomas Don Haggerty as Tony Durkin House Peters Jr. as Bert Winslow James Craven as Dr. Millard I. Stanford Jolly as Professor Bryant Stanley Price as Gunther von Strum Ted Adams as Martin Conway Marshall Bradford as Dr. Grafner Production Kirk Allen was considered for the lead as Jeff King, Rocket Man, but the part eventually went to Coffin. King of the Rocket Men was budgeted at $164,984, although the final negative cost was $165,592, a $608, or 0.4%, overspend. It was the most expensive Republic serial of 1949. The serial, Republic Production No. 1704, was filmed between April 6 and April 27, 1949. Republic liked naming their heroes, King, in order to use the title, King of. The studio had found success with this naming scheme following the adaptation of Zane Grey's King of the Royal Mounted. The main character in this serial was Jeff King, otherwise known as Rocket Man. His flight sequences were inspired by the Buck Rogers comic strip. Two streamlined, bullet shaped prop helmets were used with the sonic powered, rocket equipped backpack attached to a leather flying jacket. 
The first was made of lighter weight materials and worn only during the various stunt action scenes. During filming, the single hinged visors on both helmets frequently warped and would stick open or closed. King of the Rocket Men was more cheaply made than previous Republic serials and lacks a colorful costumed villain along the lines of Republic's earlier serials Adventures of Captain Marvel and the Crimson Ghost. The final chapter's flooding and destruction footage had previously been used by the studio as the centerpiece for 1941's Dick Tracy vs. Crime, Inc. Topic stunts David Sharp as Jeff King, Tony Durkin, Professor Bryant doubling Tristram Coffin in Rocket Suit, Don Haggerty and I Stanford Jolly Tom Steele as Jeff King, Bert Winslow doubling Tristram Coffin and House Peters Jr. Dale Van Sickle as Jeff King, Tony Durkin doubling Tristram Coffin in the Helmet, Rocket Backpack and Don Haggerty Kerry Lofton as Bert Winslow doubling House Peters Jr. Eddie Parker Bud Wolf Wolfrocket Man in action was played by three different Republic stuntmen. Dave Sharp performed the leaps into the air and acrobatics necessary to simulate flight. Tom Steele was the second stuntman in the rocket pack and helmet, and Dale Van Sickle took the role when Steele and Sharp were unavailable or were being used in the same stunt shot. The first appearance of Rocket Man Dave Sharp has him flying directly into the back of a fast-moving, tarp-covered truck, driven by stuntman Tom Steele, then getting into a fist fight with Vulcan's henchmen. In that same fight sequence Tom Steele is also the stuntman in the Rocket Man costume. Topic. Special effects Several shots in the serial feature the Rocket Man character flying across broad vistas of barren landscape, an effect achieved by Howard and Theodore Lidecker running a full-sized dummy on internal pulleys along a very long, taut wire tilted at an downward angle to the horizontal. The same strategy had produced remarkable flying sequences in the earlier Republic serial adventures of Captain Marvel 1941. Dave Sharp's takeoffs were accomplished with concealed springboards, and his landings by simply jumping down from some raised position into the film frame. The shots of King as Rocket Man taking off, flying, and landing were reused in three subsequent Republic productions featuring flying heroes, Radar Men from the Moon 1952, Zombies of the Stratosphere 1952, and Commando Cody, Sky Marshal of the Universe 1953. Rocket Man's Reagan appeared to be a German Luger acceptable in this post-wartime serial with a silvery cone propped over the barrel. The tidal wave in the serial's final chapter is actually stock footage taken from RKO's once thought lost science fiction feature film, Deluge 1933. Stock footage was being used for most of the chapter's cliffhanger endings, showing the downward trend of late 1940s Republic serials. Release Theatrical King of the Rocket Men's official release date was June 8, 1949, although this was actually the date the sixth chapter was made available to film exchanges. A 65 minute feature film version, created by editing the serial footage together, was released on July 25, 1951. It was one of 14 feature films Republic made from their serials. The title was changed to Lost Planet M and after using the working titles The Lost Planet and Lost Planetman. The ending was changed for the feature version. Instead of New York City being reduced to rubble by a deluge, as in the serial, those events are dismissed as just the dream of a madman. 
and did not really happen. A similar change was made in the feature version of Drums of Fu Manchu, King of the Rocket Men was re-released on July 16, 1956 between the similar re-releases of Adventures of Frank and Jesse James and Federal Operator 99. The last original Republic serial release was King of the Carnival in 1955. Topic: Critical reception. Film historian William C. Klein describes this serial as one of Republic's last cliffhangers with any originality to it. He singles out Clark's performance, noting she is a refreshing note in an otherwise routine proceeding. Topic. See also Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airmen List of film serials by year List of film serials by studio The Rocketeer